Hello, single Virgos. I'm Phoenix Rising. If you're hearing my voice, you're watching my channel. If you are a returning Virgo, thanks for coming back. And if you are new to my channel, you can click like, subscribe, you can share me. Make sure you hit the notification bell so you get notifications when I do uh, readings. I am here to do a love read for single Virgos only. This love read will be good until the 23rd. We are coming out of Mercury retrograde as we speak. So, <clears throat> this is your love read after Mercury retrograde. Um, I did a four card spread. The fourth card is your main messages. You get to ask the deck a question. I'll flip that at the end. And then I did a five card game spread at the top. And I'm going to jump straight into your read. At the crown of your read, you got the Queen of Swords. This is about mental clarity, having things on your mind. The Queen is about um, not in a mental space to be in a relationship right now. This is keep your distance, alone, intelligent, graceful. This is a little girl um, who got her heart broken and she learned a lesson. It's like her wall is up. This is learn from bad stuff. This is, let me turn this in. This is um, great. She gives great advice. She's not for no bullshit. This is a uh, never will you hurt me again card. Won't open heart. This is operates off of intellect and not heart. Will observe first. And it's like a bullshit detector. Keep your distance from this person. Keep your, it's like you saying keep your distance from me because you don't want nobody close to you. This is definitely keep at a distance. Uh, caution of being played again. And this is heart leaves a stray card. There you go. Your heart leaves you astray. The queen is, she's bold. She's daring. She speaks her mind. And she don't take no shit. She's learned from the past. She know what type of man she don't want. She know what type of man she do want. She don't tolerate no shit. She's a good judge of character, too. Um, this is trying to see if someone makes a suitable partner. Very cautious about being played. Scared to open up your heart. You got the wall up. You're like, I don't know. You know? You got to check this shit out because you're like, I don't know. If they worth my time. You got the three of swords again. Mental clarity. Mental. Swords is about mental. Libra. Pis I mean, Libra. It could be a Pisces too. I don't know where that just came from. But Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. The three of swords in reverse. The three of swords in reverse is uneasy. Truce. This is lesser degree of loss. Heartbreak over this is um break up some of them i just got out of a relationship already ended um you might want it back but it's not coming back this is pain done time has passed and you are recovering you're in a recovery period um this is also hmm, this is the divorce card rocky foundation in denial that's why i said some of you might have just recently got divorced this is also someone being treated as a rebound. You're being, they look at you as a rebound. This is lack of interest, suppressed emotions, promises being made, and don't mean any of them. Not good. This is disappointment. This is cover up, warning, and repeated cycles. Repeated cycles. You got the king of cups in reverse this is pisces that's why i said i end up saying it anyway pisces cancer scorpio energy it don't have to be but it could be in a birth chart the king of cups up uh, in reverse is deceit crafty liar narcissistic ass person trying to con you Saying you should do something or wanting you to do something for it from them or do something for them. Saying all the right things, but they want sex, drugs, money, motives after they get after they get what they want, they done. They gone. Sayonara.
This is definitely a warning. This person is full of shit. That's what I call it. The full of shit card. You know? This is also... uh, They treat you like shit again. Or leave. This is look and slow down. This is... um, Yeah. Look and slow down now. Virgo. Single Virgo. Because this person is definitely full of shit. You got the world upright. The world upright. You got the world at your feet for one. That's what that starts with. You got the right to in the to make a change and make decisions based upon what you see as the queen. And even if you're not a, a woman, you embody the queen's energy. So, you know, just so you know. That means you're sharp and you own it. Lie detector test. Lie detector person. The world uh, upright is completion, uh, recognition, dreams coming true. It's like it was great while it lasted. Time to let go. This is the end of a chapter. Cycle of completion. It's been real time to move on. Moving on to bigger and better things. It's a wrap. It's time to say goodbye. It's um, I want to move on, but we had a good time. This is final, final farewell. Somebody divorcing this narcissistic person and you on this set is take things to the next level with you. Um, it's like the next step. Somebody want to take for total opposite. Somebody want to get married and take things to the next step with you. And you like, I don't know. This is the getting married card. This is um, or having a baby. This is uh, Taurus, Scorpio, Leo, and Aquarius energy. Could be dating one. Could be in their birth chart. It could be... Um, this partner coming in. You know, you got Aquarius three times for some of you. Scorpio, Pisces. Yep. Leo. Um, what was I going to say about this world? Um, it's taking all your experiences and wrapping them up to move on to the next level. Like a feeling of graduation. Like, okay, you know what? I know what I'm doing now. Like, it's time to level up. I'm hearing level up from Sierra. Level up. Um, This is take things to the next level with you. Seeing stability in the next level or already. It's wanting to move forward. But it was fun while it lasted. You might be, you know. It ain't nothing to cut that bitch off, too. That's the song. I can't think who sang this. It's a rap song, y'all. So It ain't nothing to cut that person off. But um, what was I going to say? Because I got really into y'all read. That was deep. Somebody trying to play games. The answer to your question is no, dear. For your first card you got, you are being shady. Watch out. Shit could get ugly. Somebody could be being shady towards you. Watch out. Three of swords you got. You are loved. You are here for a reason. Don't fuck it up. And don't let nobody fuck it up for you. Single Virgo. Boom. Figure this shit out on your own. With this king of cups. Figure it out. Be fucking grateful. Shit could be so much worse. You cannot be in the queen's energy and not know somebody trying to play you. At least you know. Detox. Drink a smoothie. Unfriend that asshole. Ooh, and throw that shit out. And throw some shit out. Okay, so Virgo singles, this has been your love read. I'm Phoenix Rising. Click like, subscribe, share me, come back and see me. Love and light. I hope I have been a help to you guys, and I hope you come back and see me. Okay, thanks, guys. Bye, bye.